Hey, Joe Zach here talking about analyzing Git history with Elasticsearch. The import process was much more difficult than I expected since Git doesn't have a convenient way of exporting history, and I really wanted to nest the changed files along with the commits. I eventually got it working, and I wrote up how I did it, so check the description below for a link. Each document is a single commit, which has 22 data points, including a one to many list of changed files. I imported the Git history from Dev2 to see what I could see. I can use Kibana to write a couple simple queries to count up the commits by author or to a full text search across all fields for a particular word or phrase. Uh, that's kind of neat, but I wanted to see something more visual. So I created a couple visualizations and loaded them into a dashboard. Now I can add filters and run full text searches and see the whole dashboard change to reflect my query results. I'm sure you can think of a few charts that you'd like to see up here, but these are the, the ones that I came up with. Uh, the first visualization is the heat map showing which authors change which files the most. The next one is file changes by date. The next one is just the commits by author by date. It's rolled up by week, so you can see the number of commits that each person made. And it's uh, not very pretty to look at. There's a lot of information there. I left a, a lot of authors on there because I thought it looked kind of cool. Next up is the frequently changed files, which is basically just a, a tag cloud showing you which files were modified the most. As you can see, we've got some pretty boring and mundane files showing up as the ones most commonly updated, which is not a big surprise. Next up is type of changes. No big surprise there. Modifications are much more common than added files and deleted files are most rare. And finally, I've just got a count here of the total number of changes by author. That's all I got for you today. If you check the description for this video, you can find links to GitHub and to a couple articles I wrote that described how I set this all up so you can try it on your own code. Let me know how it goes if you do it, and don't forget to smash that sub button.